Um, I'm Annie. Um, I work as a pastoral assistant in secondary school um, and I've just finished Alpha. The basics of the story was I came to church again to be connected, whether it be with God or other people, and I felt church was a great opportunity to do that. Um, and I've been to Woody's before, so I always knew that it was going to be a vibrant place. And then, obviously, when I was here, there was a massive advert for Alpha. I was like, actually, I'd like to do that because there's a lot of questions I'd like to ask, and I think Alpha is that one place that actually you can get a lot of answers, but also there's, there's really strong people there where you can actually challenge and go, well, why and what? And I think that's the good thing about Alpha is you can explore that in a safe place without feeling judged or, or pushed away. And every week there was a different unit and a different subject. You got to dive into the Bible, you get to di dive into Jesus Christ, you get to dive into loads of other stuff. And actually it's a, it's a group situation where we all come together and you're not the only one in that group who's like, but why? I don't understand it. Everyone is kind of feeling the same and you've got your, your mentors who actually help you process that and show you different ways of looking at it. And I think the one um, topic that I liked and the one I, I struggled with the most is Jesus. Because, you know, we know about God and we have faith in God, but then when it comes to Jesus, it's like, but why Jesus? Why not another random guy? Why not a woman? Why not this? Like, what is it so powerful about Jesus? Why is he so special? And what does he offer? And why does he offer this? So there's all these whys and I think, I struggled with, you know, midway through the Bible, Jesus then just come along and I didn't quite understand that and it was really nice to ask people and by the end of it I actually had quite a few aha moments of, ah, that's okay, right, I get it, but I probably wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't have such an amazing group who allowed me to explore of, but I don't understand and that's what Alpha really helped me on and now I've got this little thing where I'm like, actually I want to read a little bit more. I want to know a little bit more. And I still don't stop the questions about Jesus. I'm still asking questions because there are still them little loops. And I don't know if I'll ever, you know, figure it out, but it's nice to, to know these little things. And it's also nice to know that other people are struggling with the information as well. Where I am at the moment with Jesus is, um, a lot of people talk about like the Holy Spirit and Jesus, and I, I don't get that. You know, growing up, I was very much God's, you know, here, he's, he's around me all the time. And I do struggle with the Holy Spirit and Jesus. I don't know why I struggle with that, but I, I do struggle with that. Um, but in terms of my, my spiritual journey and, and you know, I, I have faith in God. I have faith in, in what He can offer me and how He can help me and support me and stuff like that. Um, so I'm, I'm on a, a really long journey, but I'm not even halfway. If someone was on the fence um, about Alpha, I'd probably say to them, what are you going to lose? You can only gain something from Alpha. Um, you can't lose anything. You'll either gain a friend, you'll gain a great group, you'll gain great, great connections, and you'll gain a little bit of knowledge. Whether you agree with it or disagree with it or whatever it may be, it's not the point. The point is everyone coming together to understand something much bigger than us. And I think it's really important that people know that you're not going to lose anything by doing this. It's just a great opportunity to connect with people, understand the church, understand the Bible. But it's, Connection, I think, is, is, is a huge thing. And plus you get food. <laughs> Brilliant.